<laughs> Good morning. Lots of pondering going on here for me this morning, and I'm not exactly sure where this is going to go because there's been so much of a variety of thoughts and feelings going on here. But the title that I finally settled on is Recognizing the Changes Within First. I know most of us still say, I'll believe it when I see it. We live in a physical world where we have been, for the most part, cut off from the subconscious or invisible world of cause. What we don't know has remained unknown. Yet even the most unconscious among us is aware at some level that something has shifted. The more, con yes, the more conscious among us are aware to some degree that the shift is in consciousness, which is being expanded. We are feeling more and more into the heretofore unknown realms of reality. We are shifting from the head to the heart. For many there are increased emotions and even tears. That's what I want to talk about today, recognizing the changes within us. Hmm. Like most of you, I want to see the world reflect out there the things that I'm feeling in here. I want to experience my dreams and aspirations and visions coming true in the physical world of experience. And I often feel frustrated because things do not happen fast enough. People are not getting it as fast as I would like people to get it. And as I continue to see the struggle in so many people, and I continue to feel the uneasiness in my own soul about wanting to do something and, and feeling inadequate, still not quite. I mean, I, I know the power's there, but it's not quite where I can use it to affect things in the outer world as I would like to do. We're told again and again that we create our own reality, yet if we're honest with ourselves, most of us, and I'm sure probably all of us, but there's always exceptions, most of us do not, are not experiencing the reality that we want to experience. All of us, I believe, have things going on in our world that we would not consider ideal. We would not consider them to be what we want them to be if, if we were really in control. And that goes for the, from the elite uh, that pretend to hold the power over others to all the slaves that pretend they don't have any power at all. <laughs> and we're all somewhere in, that, in between that spectrum of awareness, of consciousness. Maybe there are exceptions, but I think that most of us are there anyway, even if we pretend we're not. <laughs> anyway, I was able to shoot the video yesterday, 28 minutes long of, of video with, uh, with, with my friend Norma Sunshine from Manhattan. And that will probably go up tomorrow morning. Uh, I probably do a very, very brief intro video uh, and then let let you lead into that one. But one of the things that she said triggered some thoughts for me this morning. And that is, she saw me being emotional when she stood in front of me in the, in the love line. And another friend, my friend from Canada, s said to me yesterday, well, don't, I don't think I'm emotional. I'm not. I'm not an emotional person. <laughs> and my response is, yes, you are. We all are. We're all emotional. But I know she is. But see, for her, being emotional 
is a negative has a negative connotation in uh, in her reality in her experience it's a negative thing and and for Norma she interpreted the tears as being emotional and thinking oh oh what can I do to help <laughs> what what don't cry but what I was experiencing is tears of joy because I was I had my heart opened before the workshop because of the love that I was receiving, especially from the lady in Canada. Her love, I mean, here's a lady that I find attractive that was actually loving me and demonstrating it so that I could understand it. <laughs> you know, sometimes people love and they don't demonstrate the love they maybe they're maybe they do love but th but it's not demonstrated so that it can reach the people that <laughs> need to receive it or would like to receive it and yet this this friend from canada who uh norma referred to as as my lady friend <laughs> in in the video and you'll get to hear the video tomorrow i'm pretty sure it's going to go up tomorrow she referred to her as my lady friend, but it was her that opened my heart to put me in a place where, where my inner self, my inner child, was, was feeling nurtured by the world. In other words, by a reflection of me out there, was coming back and giving it in here. Because we all look for that reflection of ourself out there. We all look for the manifestation of what we believe to be real, and we want to experience that in the world. If that's the deep, well, probably the deepest longing that any of us have, and I don't even know if it has a name, but we want to see, we want to see it here. We want it re reflected back to us so that we can experience it. That's what physical creation is all about. It's about providing external experience or what seems like external experience for what is an internal reality and it has always been the case that the world out there reflects the world in here so that when the world out there is really really dark and foreboding it's because there's so much darkness in here that that we have not yet embraced and we have not yet brought the light of consciousness to we have not brought the light of awareness into that darkness and so the darkness continues to be reflected out there. You've heard me say many times that that our human experience has been one of where we of where the past creates the present and goes into the future and it, and it's a self everything becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy because well that's the way it's always been. I've told you time and again if you go back and listen to all of my videos, I've told you time and again that what's happening now is our future is literally pulling us forward. It's, it's grabbing hold of us and pulling us forward. Our future is creating our present more and more and more. And what happens when this, when this happens, the future is totally different than our past. I mean, it's diametrically opposite. Uh, it is the an antiadromia. It's the reverse flow of what we've experienced before. So the past is no longer creating where we're going. Where we're going is creating where we are, uh, <laughs> if that makes any sense to you. But it's an internal thing. And we've been wounded. We've all in this journey into darkness, into this journey of forgetfulness, We've all been wounded in our soul. And so all of the things that have caused these wounds are now coming up for us. And they're grabbing hold of our attention through feelings. Feelings are the language of the heart. And we're moving from our head to our heart. So sometimes we have feelings and, and there's no rational explanation as to why am I feeling this? Why this overwhelming grief? Why this great sadness? Why this anger? Why am I feeling these negative emotions? 
And so many people try to get rid of them the old way, you know, of, of denial and, and focusing on something else. But Spirit keeps saying, no, Ron, no. Let the tears flow when they flow. Let the emotions come up. Be with what is. Be with what you're feeling. Feel it. Don't push it away like it's an enemy. Treat it as a friend. Find the gift in it. How many times have you heard me say that? Because Spirit keeps saying it to me, keeps reminding me. Because like you, I keep forgetting too. I keep looking for the changes in the court system, the changes in the monetary system, the changes in the government, the changes in the external world that has thrived on fear. It has thrived on violence. And it has been very violent. When will we have peace on earth? That's been the cry. When will peace come? When will when will I just be left alone to be who I am and to do what makes my heart sing? When will that happen? And so when I stood in the love line with Norma, I was feeling I was feeling that beautiful energy of the love that was coming to me from my friend in Canada. And I was feeling the love that was coming to me throughout the workshop. And I was feeling the love coming to me from Norma, from a part of her soul that, that she's just newly discovering and coming into contact with as she explores her own spirituality and rec begins to recognize her own power. And it's beautiful to listen to her tell her story, and you'll get to do that tomorrow. It's already recorded. It's already, actually it's on YouTube, but it's private. I've only made it available to three people. Norma, of course, my friend from Canada, and Margie, who conducts the workshop, because the three of us are named more or less in the in Norma's in Norma's talk and what Norma shares. Although, of course, the lady from Canada is not named and and will remain unnamed for most of you until we have a chance to meet, and that's on purpose, uh, because I want to allow it to develop in the physical world before I start announcing it to the world, because we're just learning, we're just getting to know each other, but we're all getting to know ourselves in a deeper way. We're all getting to know more and more who we are. We're all recognizing more and more of our power and of the innate gifts that are within us, and we're more and more aware of the frustration over recognizing what a mess we've made of our lives and of the world that we live in. We're recognizing that, and yes, it hurts. And it's, and it's supposed to hurt for a while. It's supposed to hurt. I get frustrated because I'd like to stop the pain. But the pain will, and the pain will stop. It will stop. When it's, when it's fully integrated, when the things that have caused the pain are recognized and owned and transmuted and transformed into the, the good that has always been there. And you say there is no good and evil. Well, in a sense, that's true. But in another sense, it's total, it's total BS. It's total New Age BS. But again, it's perspective. What? is your perspective. How are you looking at it? Are you able to look at it from both the human and the divine perspective? Separate them. Allow them each to be their own pers perspective and say, okay, but I'm in the middle and I'm neither this nor that, yet I am both of them. <laughs> neither yet both. Hmm. Ah, the paradox. We're learning how to embrace the paradox. I've seen this for a long time. I've expressed it the best I can for a long time. And we're beginning to move into that. And yes, these are changes that are happening within humanity and within each soul, within each individual who deals with these energies, these emotions, these feelings. And we're all dealing with them in our own way the best we can. 
and major changes are happening. So I think I'm going to leave you with that this morning. And I hope what I've shared makes some sense to some of you and resonates with some of you because we're all on this journey together and my intent is to is to help encourage you along the way because that encourages me <laughs> and so we're all helping each other and this is a beautiful thing thank you for listening and namaste